Welcome back. I hope you all had a chance to, to view the video and really get a look at what really puppy bars mills are like. I will say before going to our wonderful guests that a puppy mill is a puppy mill is a puppy mill. Whether it is a large puppy mill or it's a backyard puppy mill, please understand it is a puppy mill. So um, bring the kids back in because we have dogs. We have dogs, we have dogs, we have dogs. Welcome to my group of wonderful puppy mill families. Thank you very much for coming, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to introduce everybody to you. First of all, we have the Oreo family. And <laughs> this is Oreo. <laughs> She's really a little bit camera shy. But we have Kristen and Tim. Raise your hands. Kristen and Tim Leahy and Oreo. This is Connor and James. They're the sons. They're, they're Oreo's brothers. <laughs> and we have DJ and uh, Kimmy, the little Sheltie. And then we have Terry, and I'm sorry, uh, let's go back to DJ. DJ, is he good DJ? DJ Jajak. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> I see, that's why I said that. And Kimmy. And then we have Terry Stumpf and Gretchen. Say hi to everybody out there, everybody. Wave to the viewers. Hi. Yay! <laughs> These wonderful families have saved, rescued, adopted a puppy from the puppy mill. And I'm going to start with Oreo's family. Kristen Aww. and Tim and Connor and James. Oreo, you've had her how long? We got her the week after 4th of July. Okay, and she was, you don't know how old she is. They assume that she's three years old. That's what they told us. Okay, and I know Karen had a little bit to do with your getting Oreo. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, we were interested in Poodle Dog, and I knew that I wanted to rescue a dog as opposed to buy a dog. And Tim had asked the people at Claw to look out for a poodle for him, and she saw an article in the, bo uh, the Post. Yes. And she emailed us that there was a raid on a puppy mill in Pennsylvania that had poodles, and two weeks later we had a dog. And I understand there were probably about 100, how much, Karen, how many poodles were rescued from this? Puppy mill, was it about 100, 150? I don't know if they were all poodles, but it was about 150 animals. 150 were, animals. Dogs that were rescued. Yeah, okay. That, and that's there there was a lot of crossbreeding, a lot of Labradoodles and, oh, okay. and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, so that's where she came from. All right, so now going to DJ. I'm going to be back to Oreo in a second. Isn't she cute? I love her hairdo. Um, DJ, Kimmy, how, did, how long have you had Kimmy? Sorry. That's okay. uh, I adopted Kimmy in April 2005, and she will be six years old in uh, May, on May 5th. Now, you don't and know any much of her history, correct? Well, the only thing I know is that uh, she was uh, rescued. She was in a puppy mill auction up in Ohio, and Ooh. a lady from a rescue in Pennsylvania went up there and uh, kind of went undercover and uh, bought Kimmy and uh, brought her back to her rescue. And Kimmy was probably about uh, seven months old when I, when I adopted her. Wow, and she that was, was a puppy, really a she puppy. She was really a puppy, right. She was terrified of everything. I mean, it took me months for her to gain my trust and all that. Oh, uh, okay. But I have uh, the pictures before and after okay. that I've provided you. So. Okay, very good. Okay, then our third guest is Terry Stumpf and Gretchen. And Gretchen, I know personally Gretchen, she's really my buddy she comes in and says hi to me uh, Terry actually lives in my neighborhood and, and tell me a little bit about uh, Gretchen well um, Gretchen was born in a puppy mill and she stayed there for five years as a breeder mm. and um, we don't know of course how many litters she had and, and any of those things and it was in North Carolina um, after that um, a woman did uh, get her, I guess she bought her, we're not sure, uh, and it went, she had her for a month, then another woman acquired her and had her for about uh, 10 months. And then finally, Docks and Rescue of North America saw her on Craigslist, and um, so they wanted $100 for her, but they, they told um, Docks and Rescue, uh, her name was Andrea Thompson, wonderful woman. And um, she said, well, we're going to have to spay her. She needed all her shots. She 
had terrible teeth. Uh, so um, she she bought her for thirty five dollars. She got a bargain, <laughs> wow. and um, and she did. She had to have fifteen teeth removed, um, um, all her shots, um, all uh, spayed, um, and uh, she had a terrible coat. Uh, she, and she was only like six, a little over six pounds. So she was underweight. Um, so all of these dogs, you can see they're wonderful <coughs> dogs. Now tell me, I know you told me a little bit about uh, d uh, your uh, little Kimmy, but I know Oreo, I met Oreo like the day after you adopted her, and she had her tail between her legs. She, tell me a little bit about what happened with her. Uh, well, she, when we went to meet her for the first time to decide that we were going to adopt her, she was terrified and she just stood still, but you could see that in her eyes, you, you could see in her eyes that there was something really valuable and, and worthwhile there. And when we brought her home, she couldn't be separated from us. She, it sticks like glue and she still <laughs> kind of sticks like glue to us. And it's mm -hmm. like she knows that she's found her forever home. Yeah. And that first day when you met her, she, she stayed right next to yeah, me she the, did. the whole time. And yeah. it really hasn't, it hasn't changed since then. Yeah. Now I know that you each have had situations, but is there something, uh, uh, do you find that there's something that you share with a puppy, uh, w with a dog that you find? <coughs> I mean, they're all terrified of everything. They all have problems. I, and I think you told me that she wouldn't even poop outside. Oh, she had, she, I think she had Is never been outside of a cage. <coughs> and she didn't know what grass was. She didn't know how to sit. She didn't, she, all things that you take for granted with a, an older dog, she was three years old, to know she had to be taught. Same way with That's Kimmy? Exactly, yeah. Kimmy, I mean, she didn't know what grass was. I mean, she wouldn't even want to sleep in the house. She was, uh, she was just terrified of everything. I had, like I said, I would have to bring her inside the house and she, when she slept, she would sleep like underneath a chair away from me. She was just afraid of everything. And it was really sad to see that. Wow. And Gretchen, did she, did you find her have, had the same situation with her? Not really. Um, she was, um, since she was out of the puppy mill for about a year and a half, uh, they really worked with her and, um, you know, she, other than, other than the reason she was listed on Craigslist, it was because um, she, her house training, she just, you know, would forget her to do it and uh, so there, oh, excuse me, another one. <clears throat> so she would forget her house training and that was a problem and uh, so that's why she was put up, uh, relisted on the, their website. Yeah. But, but since I'm retired, my husband <coughs> is, I can take her out anytime during the day and uh, so we, we, we have no problems. Okay, well, you know, I remember when you first were walking her that she would be a little bit of difficulty to walk, but she now really, really <laughs> goes, and you know, really quickly around the block with you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she, she really enjoys our walks and uh, meeting all the people and dogs and, and everything, so, so we're having, yes, yeah, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, you know, we, we just love her to death, you know. Well, we, now, we couldn't imagine our lives without her. So, they've all brought some wonderful joy to your life. Look at this dog. Okay, can everybody see Oreo? Can we see Oreo? Here's Gozy. Go. Oreo is a good girl. <coughs> you know, she, is, she is so sweet. She's been, give me Paul. Okay. Have you taught your, <laughs> I know, she don't want to get, she's been going like this the whole time and now she's not going to do it. She's going to, give me Paul. It hurts. It hurts? No. Yeah, ask her to hold oh, hands. Oh, hold hands. Oreo, Paul. Paul? Oh, she's huh? going over there. <laughs> uh, James, uh, James, tell me about how you like having a doggy. Do you know about puppy mills? Uh, do you understand about puppy mills and where Oreo came from? Well, I understood that uh, the Pennsylvania puppy mill was raided and there were a bunch of dogs over there, but Oreo, she just stood there and she broke our hearts. Aww. You love her, don't you? Oh, yes. I couldn't deal without her. Uh, and Connor, how do you uh, how do you how do you feel about having a new little sister? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really great. Like it's just great having her. She's such a sweet dog, and it's just she'll come up to you and she'll just sit there and she'll get those little big eyes and like stare at you, and Aww. she'll just like ask to be pet. Yeah, really, that's all dogs need. They need a little bit of love. They do need a little, little bit of love.